Well, I'm here with Kate Crocker, who's our representative in restaurant service for the 2011 international competition, which is coming up in, I think you told me, seven weeks, weeks and how many days? Four days. Four days. Not that anyone's keeping count. <laughs> uh, I guess, firstly, how's it all going? I mean, we, we had uh, the Global Skills Challenge a few weeks ago, and you know, one of the aims was hopefully that uh, it would give you an idea of where you were at in terms of your preparation and hopefully f allow you to focus on certain areas. Has it, has it done that? And yeah, um, definitely has given me just so much I need to focus on and from that actual experience I've changed employers to focus on a different aspect of my competition. So more the banqueting setups and doing um, setups and service of actual tables instead of more the fine dining. Um, but it was invaluable to the experience and now we actually know what we want to work towards more and we can say we need to focus on this now because we've actually done the four-day run through. And so where are you working now? Give your employer a plug. Uh, where is I'm it? I'm working now at the Sydney Exhibition and Convention Centre. Um, at Darling Harbour? At Darling Harbour yeah. in Sydney. Um, just being a waitress and doing a wide range. So I get to do setups, um, services, cafe work, restaurant work. So it's a lot a lot, lot wider range. And that's sort of the sort of skills that you need to be working on yeah. in preparation for London? Yeah. Fantastic and obviously you're, you're still going out to ride there and doing yeah. quite a lot of training so there as well. I ride three and a half days a week. Yep. Um, training with Ivan, Bridget and Clive and James and I'm actually going to James's restaurant for one time, one day a week as well to be in different environments and doing different tables and stuff. And do you think that, uh, for, for those of you who don't know, James is James' son who's uh, the reigning gold medalist uh, in international competition for restaurant service. Is it invaluable having someone like James there to not only offer tips, I suppose, on training, but what you can expect at an international competition? Yeah, well, he's basically given me the heads up and he's prepared me in that sense, but he's also a lot harder because he's been through it himself, so he's going to give me the feedback I need to work on things that will get me to the gold medal. So he knows what he has to do prior and where my mind needs to be and where my thoughts need to be so I can actually work towards that gold, which is the ultimate game. Yeah. Now, I've heard via the grapevine that you're you know, a very busy person and you try to do probably too much at times. A little. <laughs> Has uh, World Skills impacted on that or have you made the decision that you know, maybe I need to put some things on hold for a while? Yeah, um, I, basically, I played four sports last year and I danced four days a week. So I've stopped dancing this year, um, except for an odd casual class where I, it's just casually where I can go. And I didn't play soccer this year because I didn't want to break my leg before London. No, that wouldn't be a good thing. No. And I, I'm sure Bridget and Ivan in particular wouldn't be happy if that happened. No. So maybe you can um, use your dancing skills after the competition. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and also, I've, so basically all I'm doing now is just going to the gym and training and then working. So yeah. very limited and focused. I guess with your skill area, you know, there does need to be a high degree of fitness. You're on your feet most yeah. of the time, and, and that over a four-day competition in an exhibition centre like where we are today with hard concrete floors must be, you know, quite physically demanding. Yeah, definitely. That's why um, also work is so good because I'm actually in the industry doing all the things I'm doing in competition, So, and the hours, uh, maybe 12-hour shifts, so it helps me get to like just trying my stamina and working out the four days. Yeah, and I, just finishing up, I guess, Kate, you're probably one of our model world skillers, if you like, because you've come through our Vet in Schools program where I think you, you, you won gold in that. Yep. Uh, you went through our regional competitions where you've, you've triumphed there, you've come through a national, you obviously won that, and now you're heading off overseas as an Australian representative. I mean, for everybody else out there, you know, would you recommend the world skill Skills pathway? Yeah, um, World Skills has done so much for me as a person and not just in the competition area but it's given me like experience and confidence and just built me as a person and the fact that I did it through high school um, really built up the underneath steps that I can go for the international and I could enter the next competition round and have more confidence in the areas that I needed to do. But it also just the experience that came from it. I got a new job, all the awards that I won and I actually got to have my name out there and start getting who I want to be out. And, and is, that, is that helping you being recognised more because of that? Yeah, um, 
I don't know what to answer that. Um, well, I mean, is, is it, you know, has it, is it something that, you know, you, you, you like, I guess you value in putting on your CV, for instance, and yes. do employers certainly put a lot of credit in those sort of things? So I got a job at Key simply by having world skills on my resume. I didn't even have to go for an interview, really. It was, when can you start work? Mm. So just the fact that I've done world skills and that the employers know what you need to do for world skills and that you need to have all the organisation skills and effort and you need to put all that hard work in, they actually know that you're going to be dedicated to the job, mm. so they're more likely to give you that job. Fantastic. Well, it's great to have Kate here. I mean, like everybody else here, she's given up her time to be here today and it's, uh, I, I, I say it time and time again, it's one of the real pleasures of World Skills Australia is that people do come back and give their time so that we can, uh, I guess, promote those opportunities that are in vocational education and training and good luck Thank over the you. next seven weeks and four days. Um, I'm sure you'll uh, be doing a lot of training between now and then, but Definitely. I'm sure that uh, come London, it'll all be worthwhile. Definitely, it's going to be the ultimate goal, so fingers crossed we get the gold. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. That's all right.